Some plants need support because they're natural climbers. They use tendrils, leaves or flexible stems to seek out support structures to pull themselves upwards. Some plants need to be staked to provide temporary support while they grow their own strong root system. Other plants have been specifically bred for features like extra large flowers or extra tall stems, so they need a stake or two to take on some of the extra weight. And other plants, like espaliers, are specially pruned around a support to give the plant a particular shape. First up, supporting woody vines. Perennial vines that have a woody stem live for many years, so they need a solid support that will last them through their long lifetimes. Grapes use tendrils, which are modified shoots, to loop around support structures, pulling the rest of the plant up slowly behind it. The great thing about plants with tendrils, like grapes, is that they don't need much training. Once a tendril makes contact, it will naturally wind its way around the support structure, forming a strong web-like connection. This grape arbor here at the gardens is not just built for support. It's an impressive structure in its own right, and it's been built to last. It's not going anywhere in a hurry. Climbing supports for woody vines don't always have to be high to do the job. This kiwi fruit structure is about 12 metres long, but it's only about a metre and a half high, which is more than enough to keep these four plants growing happily and fruiting well. Kiwi fruit are fast growers, so the support structure has to be in place before they're planted. They have woody trunks, but the secondary growth, these thick stems, aren't as woody or as heavy as a grape or wisteria, so don't need the same heavy duty support. Here, they're climbing on tensioned wires rather than solid timber beams. Next up, supporting non-woody climbers. If you've ever had a cold beer after a long day's work, well, you've got the hop plant to thank for that. They're a herbaceous perennial, meaning that they send up shoots in spring from their rhizomes, they flower and then they die to the ground come late autumn. They climb using tendrils. Now, normally in a commercial setting, they climb up a rope trellis, but here at the patch, they have this beautiful steel tower to go up. Chunky wood, they can find it hard to get up because of their small tendrils, but this 12 mil Rio bar is just perfect. Steel is a great support structure because it lasts almost forever. And if you're handy with a welder, you can make it into whatever shape or size you want. Now to supporting espaliered plants. Your fruit tree is not your natural climber, but here at the patch, these pear trees have been trained into a beautiful espaliered screen. Now to achieve this, you need to tie and train the new growth to where it needs to go. In this case, upwards. So any excess growth gets carefully pruned off. The apples have been trained over the arch, which uses the same technique as the espalier. The support just needs to be a little bit more elaborate. It takes years, but with a bit of effort, it looks amazing. Finally, supporting annual climbing plants. Sweet peas, climbing beans and edible peas may be some annuals you've got in your garden. Now, because they only last for a season or two before going to seed, you can get away with a simpler, lighter, more organic solution. I'm going to use this bamboo here to create a teepee but you can use old bits of wood or even long, straight prunings that come straight from the garden. To make it, cut the bamboo to equal lengths. Stick them in the ground in a rough circle tie the tops together with a piece of string. So there it is. It's as easy as that. It can be as simple as a couple of sticks or as complicated as the time and the materials that you've got available. 
think about what support your plant needs and build a structure accordingly. It's a great project to get cracking on with in the garden this weekend.